So let's talk a little bit about uh, the shims, what you get supplied with your silencer. You'll, have, you'll find two shims, you find a blue shim and a white shim. Now people have to all have a question regarding what's the difference? Well, with foiling, uh, it's really important to understand that the angle of attack is what really drives the front wing. So when I say angle of attack, the rear wing is basically leaning down and it basically drives the front wing up. So the more angle of attack you have, the more the rear wing pushes the front wing up. And what that will give you is more lift. So in our case here, we have the blue shim has more angle of attack. So this shim will give you more lift. It will also reduce your speed. The white shim with less angle of attack will give you more speed, but it also uh, minimizes the ability of turning. Uh, so you kind of have to feel your way into this. Uh, with this wing, it, it's a very, it's an awesome lifting wing. You'll find yourself foiling in no time. Uh, I would recommend to start with the white shim. Uh, it's also body weight dependent. You know, if you're a heavier guy like me, you might want to start with the blue shim just to get a little bit more lift. Uh, if you lighter weight, then uh, you can probably just go with the white shim. And that will help you uh, kind of dial in your riding style. See, if you're a beginner foil, I would recommend the, uh, the least amount of attack, angle of attack. And I would probably start out with the white shim. Your foil comes assembled with the blue shim, or it's attached to your fuselage. Uh, that is just part of how we ship our product. Uh, but I would recommend if you're a beginner, use the white shim first and uh, once you get a feel for it then you can basically swap around and, and kind of suit your riding style.